Hello and welcome to the CPU Galaxy channel. Yeah, today I want to show you something not so common I received last week in my mail. PC radio from AIMS Lab. A 8-bit ISA card with high quality stereo FM sound. Let's check it out right now after the intro. Actually, I never thought buying a radio card, but I came across this box on eBay for 8 euros, the whole box with cabling, software, hardware, and I had to buy it to give it a try. Yeah, AIMS Lab, I never heard of this brand, PC Radio, Radio Track, adds high quality stereo FM radio reception to your PC. <laughs> nice. What's on the back side written? Radio Trek is a smart digital FM stereo radio card that sits in the IBM PC or compatible 8-bit ISA slot. Just plug and play. <laughs> Funny, plug and play. It's ready to run with your installed Windows 3.1 software. With Radio Trek, you can just sit back and enjoy clear, crisp reception from your PC while you work. <laughs> nice, nice idea. Technical specifications, high quality stereo FM tuner built in, frequency range 88 to 108 MHz, antenna impedance 75 ohm, Microsoft Windows 3.1 and DOS Boy based FM radio tuner programs, nice. High quality graphical user interface in the form of a radio, 10 preset channels, volume controlled by software, auto scan, manual scan, fine tune buttons. DOS-based FM radio TSR program, high accuracy, crystal controlled frequency synthesizer and ceramic filters for high sensitivity of FM stations. Nice. Do we have somewhere the hardware requirements? No hardware requirements. Yeah, let's open the box. So what do we have here inside? Some paperwork. Written in German. Okay, nice. Good for me. So, ah, here we have the system requirements. IBM compatible computer. 386SX or higher. Windows 3.1 or higher. Of course, an 8-bit uh, ISA slot and some speakers. So, this is not a lot for system requirements. Um, I'm quite confident that it will work fine. So, here driver installation disks, nice, 1994, AIMS lab, hopefully it's still working. So this is the antenna cable, also in nice condition. So here the card, mm, looks quite nice, still in very, very good shape, maybe, maybe new. So what do we have here? Ah, yeah, here we have the LM7000. This is the uh, frequency synthesizer. Then we have here, I guess this is the TEA2025B. 20, this is the amplifier for the output. Nice, looks very nice. What connectors do we have here? We have the connector for the antenna and here a connector for the speakers. And here the 8-bit ISA connector. Nice. Yeah, let's give it a try. For the setup, I'm using the same main board I was showing in my previous video. It sends 386DX33 with a Windbound I.O. controller while I'm using this flash module instead of an hard disk drive, the Trident 9000 video card and the Sound Blaster 16 card. Actually, we don't need a Sound Blaster because the radio card has already an amplifier on board where you can connect directly your speakers. I copy already the floppy drive on the hard disk, so everything was fine, nothing was corrupt, so I have everything nicely saved here on the hard disk. So let's then do quickly the install. So we have here a setup. Uh, this is of course uh, required Microsoft Windows. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows 3.1 or 3.11 installed on this system right now. Therefore, I will go for the DOS installation now. Install 
So this should be quickly done. So this directory. Yeah, very easy and simple as I expected from the beginning on. Here you can select the port address default uh, 30FH. We will also go for this now. End of installation. Finish. Yeah, then let's check what we have here. So FM radio. Okay, seems to be that we can start it here directly from the prompt. FM radio on. Okay, so we have already some noise. Frequency value FM radio. Auch die Leiche seiner 23-jährigen Okay, uh, that was quickly. So you can enter directly FM radio and the frequency, and you can set here your channel. This works quite fine and very quick. Plus, you can also change and increase. For three Astrid Petermann. Neben dem Namen und Adressen ihrer Kunden speichert sie. And decrease the volume. FM Radio off. Such an easy function. There is also a, a graphical user interface existing. A nice software for DOS. Radio Man. So this gives you 10 presets for changing your, uh, your station. You can make here the scan, fine tuning, manual tuning, you can set the volume, uh, also alarm function is included here. So let's check out. Die Mutter arbeitet in der Krankenpflegerin, die ihre Tochter lebt in der Großeltern an die Post zu richten und gegebenen Fütter der Familie bei ihrer Unfortunately, I cannot use any music channels right now of some low regulations for YouTube. What I also found out here in this program, in this help text, that the software requirements for the DOS version is a 286 or above system, so DOS 386 is needed. 286 and DOS 3.3, that's just fine to go with this software for DOS. Works fine, easy, and the sound is very nice. Die Druckereigruppe Wallstedt Leikam baut in Österreich 100. Yeah, at the end, this is a very reliable, easy hardware just to listen to the radio. Of course, I was thinking for which project I could use this card, and I was coming this to my mind. A 4086 single board computer, which contains a video card, a ID controller, a floppy controller, and it supports Discon chip too. That means I even don't need a hard disk drive to boot up the system. This could be at the end a very nice combination for my own 4086 radio, but this is of course a topic for another nice video. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, please subscribe below if you want to follow, and have a nice day.